Hi, um, I'm Sabine. I'm 17 and I live in Austin and I've been diagnosed with spina bifida and myelomeningoscale scoliosis since birth. So I've been dealing with this every single day of my life. There's not been a day that's gone by where I forget that I have this, but um, I've become accustomed to it, I've learned to grow with it, and then very recently, about in uh, the beginning of junior year, I started having really severe pain just in my back and in my shoulders, and I wasn't able to walk as much as I wanted to. And recently in January, I decided that I really wanted to go out with my friends because I was just having a great day, and we were just walking around downtown really late at night, and they were a little bit worried, and so I said, just go walk ahead of me, I'll be fine, I'll walk at my own pace, and a few minutes later they realized that they wouldn't, didn't hear me behind them anymore and they turned around and I was on the ground and it was really surreal because it was the first time I had ever collapsed in front of people. My body wasn't healthy, my mind wasn't healthy, my emotions weren't healthy, and none of my relationships were healthy. It was just the thought of it always being there and affecting every single part of my life was just completely obliterating. I think it wasn't until she moved here that she really talk to people about how she is and what's wrong and she still is just so positive all of the time. Lately I've been starting to tell people and I've stopped hiding behind it and stopped using it as something that makes me different and instead makes me a better person and my friends have just been so overwhelmingly supportive that I don't call them my friends anymore. I call them my family because they treat me like I'm family and I trust them like I'm family. I hid behind it for a really long time and it kind of it did consume me and it took a lot of work to move past that. Just because I have an excuse doesn't mean I'm allowed to hide behind it. And she has she has had days where she's like, I don't want to do this, like I can't do it anymore. But within the next few hours she's like, you know what, like I'm ready to keep going. Like I, I'm truly ready to keep persevering through everything. She's really an inspiration. It's inspired me to do what I want to do and to the best ability that I can regardless of what's going on in other sectors of my life and if I'm going through a hard time to still not let that stop my goal and not make it so I can't achieve that. I knew that I had a choice of whether to let something like this become my entire life or whether to let it empower me and to drive me forward. She doesn't see this whole, like everything going on with her health problems and her surgery and everything that she's had to go through. She doesn't see it as like making her different from other people. She's doing everything she can for herself so she can have the best future that she can. Every single day I still have to make that choice. I still have to choose to get up instead of calling my nurse to give me more pain medication. I still have to smile when my friends come in the room and sort of crying because those are the minute by minute decisions you have to make when you're faced with a life change. It's not just you make this one decision where, okay, I'm gonna do this. It's every single moment and every single decision you make is different now because of one thing. She has so many like, so many battles she fights and now being home and homeschooled, she's choosing to be homeschooled. She could just quit and like take a break for this year. She could be done and have to retake things next year, but she's continuing to go out and try out for acting things and pursue what she really wants to. Once she finally decided to open up to us and, and tell us what was going on, that it, it got a lot better for her and she could finally talk about these issues and, and the pain and it, it helped to relieve it a little bit and so she could keep going forward. And just everything she does for herself, for her friends, she's the most selfless person I know. She always think about everyone else. Even like while being in the hospital, she's continuing to like talk about how she's excited for her acting things and she just keeps looking ahead for the next thing, not what's holding her back in the moment. This isn't going to stop her like going to school for what she wants to go to school for and eventually getting a job in what she wants to get a job in and I think that's incredible. I wish I had that much confidence in what I was doing. I'm choosing to do this because I want to make an impact. No matter how small it is, no matter if it's on one person or every single person that watches this video, I want you to do one thing that you would have never done if you hadn't seen them. Because I know that there's a lot of things that I would have never done before having gone through this. I would have never opened myself up. I would have never thought that acting could be something that I could do with my life, looking and being in the body that I was born with.
seeing people walk into this room smiling when I'm in pain makes everything so much more worth it. There's always a brighter side. Every day is a new day and every day she looks to get better. The way she still wants to at least try and wants to just continue to do life and she really doesn't give up. There's just so much to her. There's so much to get to know and to learn from her. Really no matter her, where she is in life, she's still continuing to persevere through everything and I think other people can really take a leaf out of her book from that. Think about yourself and be selfish and, and keep the people who are helping you and carrying you further and, and keep the things that are helping you and carrying you further and, and open up to those people and, and talk to them about your problems. If I can give one piece of advice and tell you one thing, it's to learn to love every single part of yourself. Even the parts that are not your favorite and that you consciously are aware of all the time and that you don't love. Everything from a scar that runs all the way down your back to the color of your hair to your sexuality. Learn to love those things because they're there for a reason and every single one of them is why someone loves you. Not in spite of it. My friends and my family love me because of the scar that's down my back and I think that you should learn to love yourself just as much and make the world a wider place.